it's still strange to me. It really is. It's not. It's not something that I, I've gotten used to, and I hope I never do. I hope I never do. And I mean, even yesterday, like I, I know that moment when I turn the corner and I'm like, is anyone going to be here? There's like that split second of like, you know, you can be doing everything. You can have tons of people around you. You could be talking to you and laughing, la la la. But the moment you turn and walk into that room, you're all alone. And I'm carrying my suitcases and, and everything and I'm rolling with my merchandise in tow behind me. And as you turn that corner, it's like this moment that's almost surreal when you turn the corner and it reveals the people who are there for you. They're there for you. They're not there for your catchy songs. They're not there for the other four people in the band. They're not there for the headliners or any of the other bands. You turn that corner and you walk in there and it's a completely different feeling from when I was touring with bands or was when I was in bands. Um, they're there for you and they're waiting for you to entertain them. And you just have to, and it's, a, it's scary. It's scary because to walk into a room full of people you've never met, in countries you've never been, in cities you've never seen, you walk in and you're like, oh my god, I hope that I, oh man, and sometimes you want to turn and run. Then you have to remember, what I have to remember is like, this is what I do for a living. Some people think I'm good at it. And I have to kind of rely on that and be like, listen, I've never, that I know, failed at it. I've never had a time when I walked out of a room thinking, oh, that was terrible. It's never happened. And armed with that knowledge, I know that I can do this. I know I can walk in this room and make it happen. At World Tour, um... It was, a little, it, was a little, it was a lot different. It was more like boot camp. I actually did it like boot camp because I figured if I could... Um, when you're speaking at Warped War, you're sitting there and there are... You're surrounded by stages of bands all playing at once. Some of them, very few, have good bands. And you're kind of up against other people and people get to choose between seeing you and somebody else. And a lot of those people aren't there for you. A lot of people are there to go see this band and this band and this band. Most people are there to see all the bands. And they're like, oh, I heard about this Chris character. Let's go and listen to him. And they kind of wander over. So not everybody's there for you. And that's the difference between doing speakings in... Um, you know, I'm doing on my tour as opposed yeah. to being on the war tour. It's not my tour, it's somebody else's tour. And um, it was hot. It was outside trying to, trying to um, command someone's attention while the um, three different bands were echoing off of my tent. So um, I figured if I could speak it there, if I could speak there and hold people's attention for half an hour, because I had a half an hour set, um, then there's nothing that I couldn't, there's no place I couldn't speak. Um, I always wanted to be an adolescent psychologist, like my mom, and then I realized how much school was behind it. Um, and as I grew up, I mean, I, it, you know, you have dreams when you're a little kid, like you want to be a fireman or a policeman. I don't know. You know, I never really thought about it too much. I was more about just we are now approaching doing time. what I've always wanted to do, you know? So for me, it's like I've finally got to live that dream because I am doing exactly what I've always wanted to do. Um, it's, com it, it's, it's almost different than the United States because I think people come at you with a different understanding. Whereas in America, um, I think we're, we're so used to having, we're so, you know, there's, everything is so readily available. All the bands, everybody, yeah, there's always good bands every week. You know, there's always cool shows all the time. Um, there's plenty of times when I'll go and, and they'll be, um, I go to five five different shows for five amazing bands in one week. Uh, so over here, I know it's not as prevalent, and I think there's a certain understanding, and I think there's a, a better appreciation for things, and I think that comes across, and you can see that in the audience. And um, it's a little bit of a, an older audience, and um, 
it just comes across that as, and I don't want to say that as a generalization because at the same time, I mean, there's plenty of people who appreciate it, and, you know, uh, in America, but it just seems like overall it tends to be a little bit more, uh, it's different. I, mean, I really have to think about it before I, I take it in and go home, go back to the United States before I figure out exactly what that, uh, the differences are. I mean, yeah, like I said, you know, I mean, you can, yeah, I'm going to go to the UK. Okay, put it all together. Yeah. Okay, get the money. Okay, buy the ticket. Okay, you go to the airport, you get on the airplane, and then when you land, you're like, holy shit, I'm in the UK. I'm in a different country. I'm halfway around across the world. So by that right, it's, it's not real until you step foot on the ground, and you're like, whoa, things look different. There's a lot of bad food here. You know, and by that then that's when you realize, wow, I'm here. It's never real until you're actually there. So, yeah. you know, you can imagine you're going to write a book. You can send it off to people and you can pay money and um, you can get people to design stuff. But it's not real until you open that box and pull out a book and hold it in your hand. That's when it's real. Yeah. So, it's not real until I'm here. What's next is a really good question because it's, it's a question I always keep asking myself and I don't really know. I just want to keep doing this. If I can maintain this life, if I can maintain this momentum for the rest of my life, I will be doing just fine and I'll be doing exactly what I want to do. I would love to be able to keep, to, to be a little bit more, you know, reach more people. But, um... Yeah, I mean, I really don't know. I just want to keep doing what I'm already doing. I want to put out more books. I want to put out my DVD. I want to put out more stuff so that eventually I, um, it's easier for me to go from city to city um, and not have to worry about whether or not people are going to show up. I won't have to worry as much if I can keep um, the lights on and uh, a roof over my head. Uh, ninja, uh, because ninjas are way cooler, and there's more of a mystique about them, and they could easily kick a pirate's ass. Pirates were murderers and rapists. Ninjas, they just kicked ass. They just kicked ass. Not that they didn't murder people, but they only did it because people deserved it.